Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. For those of you who regularly follow my content, you may like to know that I always play using an Xbox One controller, so the introduction of X input in CMU 1.9.0 is very welcome. For those of you who are having issues or are simply looking forward to getting your hands on this in the future, I've put a little guide together for you that should get you going. If you're having connection or driver issues, I'd like to direct you to another video that I made some time ago that should help you out with that. To help you visualize what's going on, I've included a camera recording and a digital gamepad view. If you want to get your hands on the gamepad viewer, it's simply called gamepad viewer. It's free and very easy to set up. It's actually something that I use in my streams to make them a bit more interesting. In this guide, I'll be using an original Xbox One controller wirelessly. It's a first generation controller, which means that it also needs the external wireless adapter to work. Regardless of that, you can play wired or wireless and use first or third party hardware. It really does not matter. If you're curious about the current generation of Xbox One controllers which implement Bluetooth, they do work but only as direct input, not X input. At least they were the results of my tests. That takes me nicely to my next point which is that I've never had a problem with Xbox One controllers in Simu. They've always worked as direct input so to speak. One of the major differences of X input is rumble feedback or vibration and that does work. So, assuming your controller is successfully connected or synced, let's get on to button mapping. In Simu, you're going to select options and input settings. On controller 1, I always recommend selecting the Wii U gamepad because that will always help with the gyro experience. Remember, in this instance, gyro uses the mouse, not the controller. Following that in the controller drop down, select controller 1 and we are ready to map. You only need to click on the first button which is A, then Simu will move you along automatically after each additional press which is a great new feature in Simu 1.9.0 whereas before you'd have to click each button select individually. So for an Xbox controller the way I map it is very very simple. A is A, B is B, X is X, Y is Y. L is left bumper, R is right bumper, ZL left trigger, ZR right trigger, plus is star, minus is back, left click left stick in, then it's L stick up, L stick down, L stick left, L stick right. Then you do the same for the right stick and the D-pad should be self explanatory with up down left right. In terms of dead zone and range they are customizable but I never touch them. When it comes to rumble percentage that's purely down to your preference. Once your controller is mapped correctly and hopefully behaving I recommend that you go to the top of the screen in profile give your controller profile a name and save it. What this will do is give you a quick load whenever you need it in the future. If you have issues with X input, simply click on direct input where the setup is exactly the same. I do recommend a second profile if you change API. You will also notice refresh, calibrate and clear options. Clear clears the mapping and refresh refreshes the input device. I have not had to use calibrate yet. So there you go people, assuming that you don't suffer from any bugs, it is that straightforward, it is that simple. It's great to see what Team Sumu are doing with controller input and may the improvements continue. As a side note, and it's not related to my guide, you can use a wide range of controllers from both Nintendo and PlayStation as well. And of course, I mustn't forget Xbox 360. That's it for now people, hopefully I was able to help some of you out. If you enjoy the content, please leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you would like to see more, remember to subscribe. I've been The Complaining Gamer, take care, I'll see you next time.